I'm I'm glad that it's it, it definitely does come through for me at least um, as as an, a marked improvement and just well, the, I'm happy you know, to hear the ability, that. just the like that ability to you know you don't have to trap up anymore on the flipper to change characters. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like that was a that was actually like a detriment. You actually felt like the game it was like a a stop go moment where now you've got more of a flow in the way you actually control character movement. Well, it's game. funny because so, there was one particular board where. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, in that particular one, when you got into the pop bumpers, that uh, maxed out your meter, and I needed that meter maxed out really fast. And I found that if I was in the night with the knight, he just stayed there bumping a long time, would max it out. And as soon as it was maxed out, boom, switched characters while it was still up there. Yes, went to the mage, yep. bam, zap lightning on all the goblins that are around. As soon as it drained down, switched back to the knight, and so it was just like, hey, this is really cool that I, can, you know, even within the board, there's certain areas that certain balls are going to be better equipped to get you to your food. goal than yeah that's others. that's 100 percent our design philosophy and it's something that we're you know as we refine and refine and refine it's something that we're going to be paying closer attention to in the refinement uh, stage there will actually be areas that are accessible only by specific characters um beyond the kind of like this character will just generally do better there's actually gated uh per per character in some cases mm.